Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to clean shoes in order to make more money. So today we have three different pairs of shoes and I want to show you guys what I'm going to do to them and just three easy ways that you guys can clean up your shoes, make them look super nice and end up making more money rather than just selling the shoes as they are. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. Here we are at my cleaning station and I just want to kind of let you guys know how this is going to work. So I'm going to be cleaning three different pairs of shoes in different ways and I want to show you guys what shoe I have, how much it's worth right now in its condition as is, and then after we're all done cleaning it, I want to show you guys how much each shoe is worth after it's cleaned and prepped and looking all nice and ready for photographs. The very first shoe we have here is a True Blue Jordan 3. This shoe is super beat up. So I actually found these on offer up for 40 bucks. Uh, the paint is chipping on these on the leather and they're super yellow on the toe area. And it's just, they just need a good cleaning and they also need to be unyellowed. So, with this one, I'm not going to go super into depth. I am going to clean them, but I want to show you guys how to remove yellowing from rubber outsoles because that will definitely increase your profit margins by a lot. The second shoe is, uh, I have a pair of suede dunks right here. They are dusty and dirty, so definitely a, a good wipe down, but there's some marks over here that are just dirt marks and kind of almost look like stains. So I want to show you guys how to get rid of those and two different ways that we can get rid of them. So we're either going to have to scrub them down harder or we also have the uh, new buck and suede kit that can super be helpful for quick cleans. I actually bought these for 30 bucks, which is crazy, super steel. The third shoe we have are a pair of these great Jordan 5s. These ones I got for 40 bucks as well. And these ones just mostly need a deep clean, uh, just something to you know, freshen up uh, all the leather. There's a lot of dirt marks and dirt stains. So hopefully those will come out and maybe it might need just a slight retouch on the paint, but nothing super big, just super simple stuff that doesn't cost too much money, but in the end will definitely make you a lot more. All right, so for this first one, I definitely think these need a deep clean, like they need to go in the washer because they are just so dirty. So if you have a plastic shoe tree, I have one from Rejuvenator. They have a whole system. That's what I'm gonna be using today. In no way is this sponsored. I do not promote them. They don't even know who I am. It just helps keep the shape. So we definitely want to fit this in the right way and fit in our shoe. So right about there. So now it's, good. it's got a little bit more shape to it. And next we have to unlace the shoes. So just to keep in mind, in this condition, honestly, I think they're worth the 40 bucks I paid, maybe 60 bucks to somebody. Uh, these definitely are beat up and I don't think a lot of people would want them in this condition. Now that we got the laces off, we're gonna need to scrub these down. So the way I scrub them down is I have this little bowl here and it's filled with water and there's a lot of different cleaning systems out there. You got Rejuvenator, you got Angelus, you got uh, Crep, which is actually what I'm using, Crep Cure. Um, I don't necessarily prefer this over other ones. They all do a pretty good job. Those are the three I do recommend though, is, is Crep Cure, is the Angelus Easy Cleaner or Rejuvenator's uh, Cleaner. So we just gotta add a couple of squirts in there. Uh, we have three different brushes and I do recommend getting a three different brush kit. If not, you can get away with just like a simple medium bristle brush do want to be more careful with some items, I do recommend getting a lighter one. This is more like horse hair. We're going to start off with this very soft bristle brush because this one actually allows it to kind of get really bubbly and soapy and allow the product to really work in. So we'll go ahead and start scrubbing this away. And just a quick note, whenever you're doing this kind of stuff, you just want to make sure that you're scrubbing kind of in a circular motion just to really work in uh, the soap and make sure you just get the whole shoe, the inside, the outside, wherever you see dirt, just make sure to scrub it in there. All 
All right, so now that the uppers have kind of gone through a, a little light clean, these are definitely super dirty, so we do have to move on to this medium bristle brush, just so that way it'll actually scrub a little bit harder and get the, the stains that are a little bit more in there. All right, so the uppers are decently clean, a lot cleaner than they were before. Uh, the next thing that we're gonna do is, I've been kind of hitting these midsoles. This rubber is definitely a, a little bit more, uh, a tougher of a surface. I think they're just gonna need a light scrubbing with a stiff bristle. So I'm gonna go kind of gently to kind of get it off. But on this rubber part right here, I'll probably scrub a lot harder just to kind of clean it up. All right, don't forget to, you know, wipe off some of this dirt as it dries up because if you're just scrubbing it and then it just stays on there, then the dirt's just staying on there. So you gotta make sure to wipe it off so that that way you can see what you're working with, see what areas are still super dirty. And I like to dry off with these microfiber tiles. There's nothing special about them. I got them at like Ross or something as a two pack. Just make sure that it's something soft. Like you can use a bath towel, but it's just not as absorbent as a microfiber towel. So definitely try and find one of these. They're pretty cheap, nothing too crazy about them. I don't buy a special one or anything like that. So if you guys can't already tell the difference, there you go. There's a big difference right there. So already a lot cleaner. Yeah, the next thing you wanna do, because they're used shoes and if you want to wear them, this is what I suggest doing because you can just kind of clean the outside and make it look nice. But if you wanna clean them and if they're as beat as they are right now, then I'm pretty sure whoever wore them just, I think they might've worn them without socks and sweated in them and did a bunch of different work in them. And you know, there's, it's just filled with germs and different things that are just gross. So. What you wanna do is learn how to disinfect and deep clean your shoes. So that's just the outer surface. We definitely wanna hit the inside because even though they don't look too dirty, you still want to clean it up and make sure that your foot is gonna be safe from any kind of bacteria. So the next thing you wanna do is remove the insole. Took that out and now we can really open this guy up and try and clean this because when people sweat, like this kind of fabric right here, it gets, that's what soaks it all up. So it's kind of gross. I use the soft bristle brush just so that we can really work in the suds again. And also just make sure to get the inside of the tongue too. So right before uh, we throw them in the laundry, we're going to clean the insole as well because this is kind of where their foot was sitting. So uh, I'll do the same. So I usually will run it once with the soft bristle to soak it up and get it all, uh, get all the product in there. And then I'll use the medium bristle to kind of scrub it a little bit more. So see, now it's all nice and sudsy. Now we'll move on to this medium bristle to really scrub it in. The laundry system is just pretty much throwing them in the washer and you allow them to sit there and kind of tumble around just like your laundry does. So it's exactly what we're gonna do. So we're getting, we're putting the shoe tree back in so that way when it's in the laundry, it keeps its shape. I forgot, there's another thing that we need to prep and that is the soles because if we throw these in the laundry like this, then they're just gonna be, it's just dirt going around everywhere. So we gotta make sure that we clean these really quick. So the way I clean these are, with the stiff bristle brush. We have this little mesh bag that it goes in. And the last thing we gotta do is prep the laces as well. So what I do is I just dip them in here, get them wet, and then I'll just scrub them with my hands really quick. I know it's kind of gross, but don't worry, I wash my hands after. But yeah, so this kind of just helps it rub the product in a little bit more. And then we're just gonna toss them in the bag and then zip it on up. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and head over to the laundry machine. Here is our laundry machine. So I'm putting this whole thing in here. 
and I'm getting my laundry detergent, which I like to use Rejuvenator Advanced Sneaker Laundry Detergent because it's made for shoes. If you don't have this or if you don't have a mesh bag, you can use a pillowcase. I've seen people use pillowcases and I would just suggest using a laundry detergent that might be clear and doesn't have a lot of chemicals just because you want to keep the shoes safe. So I'm just gonna pour this in here. You always wanna set it to cold. And I mean, this one has an auto sensing load. So if not, I would've just put small. And um, I just put it on normal, but I do put permanent press because cons, it is a little bit of a heavier, heavy duty kind of cleaning. Permanent press is a little bit less. And I don't really want delicates cause that's just a little too soft. So go ahead. Push the wash button and while that's in the washer we're going to go ahead and see how we clean these other shoes all right so even in a used pair like this these probably are still going to fetch uh maybe like 100 bucks so let's go ahead and clean them and see what they look like this is a shoe that has suede so suede is a little bit of a different material because unlike the true blue threes that are mostly all like leather these ones are suede and suede is a different material you can't just always clean it just how you clean regular leather. So it's, it's more of a delicate material and if you do it the wrong way, you can mess it up for sure. And you also wanna make sure that you use the right sneaker uh, cleaner for it, which all these sneaker cleaners that I mentioned before, they work. Um, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys some other things that you can do if you don't have a sneaker cleaner. Um, you can always get a small new buck and suede kit, which pretty much is just a little brush that is kind of a little bit more, it's like medium to, to hard, to stiff, I mean. And then you also have a little thing that looks like an eraser, feels like an eraser and acts like an eraser. So what this pretty much does is whenever you have a mark on a suede pair of shoes, um, you can try and use this to scrub it off and then you wipe off the residue. So I'll kind of show you guys really quick So now that we got all of this residue on here, we just have to like brush it off. And with suede, you wanna make sure when you brush, you brush in one direction. Cause if you just keep brushing in all these different directions, it could just mess it up. So that kind of helped this one. This is a deeper stain. Uh, let's go ahead and try and work a little bit more right here. Even there, you can see that it's a little bit cleaner. And so with little scuffs like that, you know, you can use this kind of kit. Um, but if it's deeper stains like these, we're, we are definitely gonna have to clean them with uh, just kind of how we clean the other shoes. It's always gonna be the first thing that you wanna try before trying anything else. So we tried a little bit and we saw that it worked. Um, it is a little bit lighter of a color, but we definitely need to clean these just like the other ones. These are the Jordan 5 grapes. I bought them for 40. Uh, maybe they'll go for 60 in this condition. They're really not that bad, uh, but these really just, they don't need to get thrown into the laundry or whatever. They're not that bad. So I just want to give these a quick clean and then we'll go ahead and show you guys all the shoes after. All right, so we just finished giving these a really quick scrub. And as you guys can see up close that uh, this quick little scrub actually made a really big difference. Uh, even on the soles that there is, uh, they just look cleaner overall. There are still a few little spots left over, and I think that's just what I need to kind of go into, which is um, fixing it with some paint um, and some acetone. Like, I don't know if you guys could see really up close right here, but there are some scuff marks and even a mark right there uh, on the side of the toe cap. We're gonna go ahead and try and do this really quick. So I got my acetone right here, I got my cotton round, and let's go ahead and see if this comes off. So we got this right here and look just like that one quick wipe and it's all it's coming off and it's all right here on this cotton round so it's just something super simple that a lot of people don't know and so you just have to make sure you get it all off and especially even right here let's see it look look at that guys i that stuff didn't come off when i scrubbed it but it came off right with the acetone. And that usually just means that it's probably scuffed from something. We got our two different pairs right here and they're looking almost drastically different. So 
we have this super nice cleaned up pair. Still looks used, but still looks like it has a lot of life left versus when you look at this one, it looks like they're beat up, they're trash. Nobody wants these, like who's gonna wanna wear these? So these definitely cleaned up really nice and it really didn't take too long. I literally just scrubbed these down and put just a little bit of that acetone on there just to get rid of some of the scuffs that I couldn't get rid of. Even the laces, look at the lace difference. And all I did was just put them in that solution, scrub them with my hands really quick and wipe them off. And this is the difference. We just got the True Blues out of the wash. This is what they look like already compared to what they used to look like. So drastic color in the laces and there's definitely a lot of things wrong with this shoe. <laughs> but these definitely look a little bit more brought to life. What will probably happen to most of your shoes, if they're older shoes or if you're trying to restore or just buy a beater pairs, restore them and then flip them, uh, what you're gonna see a lot is this yellowing. So there's a lot of yellowing on this, um, on this rubber part. And what that's due to is just uh, the sole is getting dirty and over time there's oxidation. All right, so what you're gonna need to unyellow this toe cap right here is Salon Care 40. There's a lot of other brands that make stuff like this, but this is the cheapest and biggest bang for your buck. Uh, so you can get these at like Sally's Beauty Care or something like that. Uh, if you buy it from places like Angelus, you get like a smaller bottle for like the same price or I don't know, I just, everyone uses this. I think it's the best one. So we're gonna apply that to the rubber and make sure when you do this that the rubber's already clean. You don't want to um, apply it on a dirty sole because then it's not really gonna um, set into the rubber and really allow it to deoxidize. So we're just gonna put this on with a paintbrush and we're just going to apply it directly onto that toe cap. And don't be afraid if you get it onto like the elephant print or whatever, you're just gonna have to clean it off. Um, it's not gonna do anything when it's out in the sun. So you'll be fine. All you have to do is just set it outside in the sun for like 30 minutes maybe an hour uh, and let the sun just do its job. I'm just gonna leave these out here. I don't need to do anything special. It's just literally have it hit the sun, so. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So we'll be back in like 30 minutes. All right, so we just got back. Uh, it's later in the day. So we just put these out in the sun only did one session and I don't know if you guys could already see that, but there is some drastic difference. This one is super yellow. This one already is looking clean, getting back to white. Uh, if I really wanted it more white, I could go ahead and do the same process over, leave it out in the sun a little bit longer and they'll be looking really good. So even up close, I'll show you guys that yes, these do have flaws, but the difference between these is already crazy. So. Uh, there's still a little bit more work to do with these, but um, I, that's kind of just what I want to show you in general. So I just want to recap what we kind of went through today. So in general, the first thing that you're going to want to do is just a normal clean. And this is what you get with just a normal clean. We already looked at these. Here's another up close of these again. Even just these didn't go through any washing system. These were just a nice clean and a little bit of acetone hits. Uh, originally, I bought them for 40. That's probably how much you'd get, maybe 60. Uh, I would say that these are now worth, I don't know, like 100 to 150. So I'm making about $90 more just because I put in a little bit of, of work and having a little bit of knowledge of how to clean shoes. And that's kind of what I want to pass on to you. So this is what you get with just a normal basic clean. I just wanted to show you with these ones what to do uh, with soles that are yellow. So like I said, we took care of that with the Salon Care 40 and some sun and these went from yellow to white. And if I needed to be more clean, I could spend more time doing it. So that's another part of a shoe that you need to learn on how to restore. Uh, these I bought for 40, that's pretty much how, they, how much they go for. Uh, right now in this cleaner condition, I'd maybe say they go for 60. 70 maybe i didn't do too much i still need to clean up the uppers and paint a little bit and then they'll probably be going for about 100 to 150 also we didn't really get too much time to get into these dunks i just wanted to remind you guys that you can clean suede shoes with you know your normal cleaning stuff uh like with 
your crep, with your rejuvenator, with whatever, but always try and go with your suede kit first just to make sure that, hey, if you don't have to get the suede wet, don't. So make sure to clean it with this first, just like I showed you. And if it's a really deep stain, like these ones have some deeper stains, they're older, they've been worn a lot. Uh, sometimes they just set in and it's really hard to get out. So you can try and clean them if you want to, but make sure that uh, you just be really careful with it. So that's the three things I kind of wanted to show you. I mean, even with this, I did clean them up. They, I bought them for, I think, got them for like 35 bucks, 30 bucks, which is a steal. Cause I said like, they're already worth a hundred, even clean like this and just resetting the laces and having them look nice is probably like 150. So I didn't really do too much. And uh, it's all about making shoes look presentable. So I hope you guys learned something. I had so much stuff here and it can get kind of confusing. So if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Uh, the two main people or the two main brands that I would kind of endorse just to make your lives easier is shop at Rejuvenator or shop at Angelus Direct. Angelus has all your stuff for like your paints and all that stuff. Um, Salon Care 40 for the unyellowing is something that you don't have to buy at those stores, buy it at Sally's Beauty because it's just so much cheaper. Uh, acetone you can get anywhere uh, or even nail polish remover. These brushes, you can find them at Target by that Kiwi brand. Um, you know, invest in a shoe deodorizer uh, because it if you get a shoe that smells, spray it in there, it smells great. Uh, also, it um, is antibacterial, so it's definitely gonna be you know, make you just feel a lot cleaner. Hey, what's going on everybody? Two quick things. The first thing is I use acetone, but acetone is a very strong product. So be very careful when using it. If you're not sure if acetone is the right thing for you, use nail polish remover because it is just a little bit not as crazy. Uh, and also just use a Q-tip and just dip it, go very lightly. If it's messing up the shoe, just stop immediately. Don't do it, don't do it on patent leather. Don't, you know, there's specific things that you need to learn about it. I just showed you for this video because I knew it was gonna work. So that's just the first thing. Second thing is I just wanna show you what the True Blue threes look like because those were the ones that were cooked. And so I brought them back to life. I did a lot more uh, acetoning. I get rid of the, the white paint that was on there. I had to repaint them and do a lot more work on it, but I did bring them back to life and I've already sold them. They sold for $135. And so that's a $95 profit, which is pretty good for me. So I would clean shoes and do that for $95 all day. So I did that and the dunks are looking good. They're listed at 220. The grapes are worth a little bit more than I thought that are listed at 200. I'm still listing the offers, but that's still a good $100 profit around there. So uh, I just wanna say thank you for you know staying this far along in the video. It's so long, it's over 20 minutes. And so I just wanna say I appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.